Hello everybody, it's me, Kennel, your host. Welcome again to another episode of Everything from the Wheelchair Cooking Show. Today I'm going to be making a popcorn hot dogs. Popcorn hot dogs. And if you ain't never heard of it, you feel it. If you ain't never heard of it, you heard of it now. Okay, something you can make with your kids. If you got kids or something, you can make a little snack for your kids. And it's something that you can make with your kids. Okay? Alright. Okay. So, I got to turn my oven on. I got my, have my oven on medium. And have my hot dog right here. Cut my hot dog up. You see my hot dog right here. Cut that up. I'm just going to use one because, like I said, I'm by myself, so I'm just using one hot dog. Okay. Popcorn hot dog. And what I'm going to do is, I got some ancient mama pancakes. Pancake mix. I'm going to put this in there. Mix a little bit. I ain't going to use a lot of it. That's about it. That's about enough right there. About enough. I'm turn my oven on. So I am. Now I'm gonna put some grease in here. Grease inside there. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna put some water in my pancake mix. See if that's enough, I need a little bit more, I get a little bit more. Get a little bit more water. Okay. I think that's enough right there. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put my hot dog in the pancake mix. Put my hot dogs in the pancake mix. So if you got kids or something, you can make this with your kids. You know, a lot of people like to do stuff with their kids. And so this is a good dessert you can make with your kids. And it's a new kind of dessert. But you gotta make sure your skillet is hot when you stick it in there. You can't, it won't work if it's cold. It gotta be, it gotta be hot. It has to be hot before you stick it inside there. And so the first, you can see if your skillet is hot. I'm gonna show you how to do it if you see if it's, you can see if it's hot or not. Put a little bit like that on there and take a little bit in. If it start bubbling up, then you know your skill is hot. Okay. You want to make sure it's hot. It won't work out if it ain't hot. You want to make it. You want to make all of this covered. It covered up. All the hot dogs. You want to make all the hot dogs covered up. It's covered up this stuff. No more paint. I 
I'm spreading them out too. I ain't trying to cook them too close to each other. Y'all know my show. I'm always thinking of something on my show. Okay. You don't want to get them too close together. You want to spread them out because you don't want them to stick. back on me my head on high and now put it now put it back on me because you want the grease to, to get hot and like I said you want to spare them out you don't want to keep them good close together they might stick on one another and you don't want that to happen Side is cooking. Have a little sauce right here that I can put the, uh, I can sit them in here and let the grease dry off of them. This was like I said, uh, you can either put syrup on this or you can eat like like it is. You see what I got? Popcorn hot dogs. You see how I made it? A little bit too hot right now. I want to taste one. 
takes a while. Takes a while. It's good. <clears throat> See what it look like? Hot dog. Popcorn hot dogs. See how I made it? That's what I do on, that's what I do on this show. I try to come up with ideas and recipes that don't nobody come up with that you can you can have your stuff in the house. Who don't have pancake mix in the house? Who don't have hot dogs? If you got kids, you got a hot dog. If you got kids, you got pancake mix. It's a new dessert. Make something new. I be like, I got these hot dogs. I don't know what to do with them. My kids don't like hot dogs no more. We don't try them every kind of way. You can try them like that. Popcorn hot dogs. There you go. And you see how fast it was for me to make it? It wasn't no two grits. Chop, chopped up some hot dogs, pancake mix, put water in it, no egg, nothing, just put water in it. Put some grease on the skillet, let the, let the, but I put it on high first, but then I turned it down. Cause you don't want to put it in there and your grease ain't warm to the hot yet. You don't, it'll mess everything up. So, uh, that's what I do on this show. Everything from the wheelchair cooking show. It's me, Kenneth, your host. And um, if you, like I always say, if you want somebody to support what you're doing, support what somebody else is doing, support what the next person doing, especially if it's positive. And don't never give up on your dreams. You know, it might don't come right then or the fa faster than you want it, but that means if you work for it, you appreciate it more. And you won't let nobody tear it down, but it's gonna be always, it's gonna be always some people. You're gonna have some negative stuff to say or talk about you, but you gotta look over them type of people though and do what you're gonna do and make your dreams come true. Cause you don't wanna be sitting at home and be like, man, I wish I would've did that. So because them same people just talking about you, they're not doing nothing. And they don't want you to succeed. So, Especially if you got kids and stuff, this show is this for you. Especially if you're in college, high school, whatever, this show is this for you. Because it's helping you cook and come up with new ideas in the kitchen instead of coming up with the same old, same old thing. You know, keep in tune, keep following me, punch a like, leave me something, subscribe, tell your friends and family about me if you know somebody else in my predicament in a wheelchair or feeling depressed and stuff, don't feel like they can do it or make it, turn them on to my show, you know. So this is me, Kenneth, from Everything from the Wheelchair Cooking Show. Thank you again. God bless you.